Previously on Heavy Rain. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? I just couldn't cope anymore. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. Oh, there it is. Madison, page 27. Single. Are you all right? Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. Good excuse. What's your name? Madison. Hey guys, it's Warrior Chick and welcome back to Heavy Rain. I am so hyped today because the story has just picked up exponentially. So I'm ready to get into the actions. I did a warm up with some other games. I feel like I'm ready to take on the QTEs. I'm sorry, I'm just really excited. I'm loving this game. I know I wasn't too hyped in the beginning when I started it, but I am now. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Hmm, unlike you. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. How ironic. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop who's been through the mill. Oh, yeah, that was a little harsh. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. <laughs> Why don't you fuck off, Norman? Why don't you fuck off, Blake? Oh, that smirk. I actually love Jaden. Jaden might be... Like my second favorite. That's him. Oh wait, what are we doing here again? Is this Here's like another Florida. suspect? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh! oh! Shit! Don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Oh, okay, yep, here we go, right in the action. This is exactly what I wanted today. I almost whacked myself in the face with my controller. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, don't mind me. Just doing some badass detective stuff. Oh, cute, a little flower shop, a little grocery store. This is, this is nice. Sorry, don't mind me. Oh, come on, man. Why do you gotta throw the pears like that? Oh, almost missed that one. Oh my god, there's like a, like a restaurant in here? And flowers and plants and flowers and... What is it? What kind of a grocery store is this? I want it. Oh. Whoops! <laughs> Oops! Oh my god, fuck, 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 I'm, I'm missing all of these! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't see them! Why are there chickens?! <gasps> Why are there chickens?! <gasps> what the heck?! Oh my god, what is this place?! <laughs> oh, I don't want to do this! Gosh, guys, what is this place? Where does this take place? I want to see what this story is like. It's like the... This is very, very interesting. All right, oh gosh, I know I'm gonna get jump scared and I'm gonna miss a quick time event. Oh! Ah! I told you! I told you I was gonna miss it! All right, take that! Take that! Oh my god, I'm just not actually as on my game as I thought I was going to be today. Ah, sword fight, yes. Watch me and my skills. I don't even need a sword to beat your ass. That's not a sword, but it's like a crowbar. Good, okay. Woo. Gave myself a little bit of an arm work out there, not gonna lie. Yep, I'm the one with the crowbar now. Bow to me. Look 
Look at me. See you, Blake. You like that? I hit him. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Wait, what happened to Nathaniel, though? We never got, like, any insight into what happened with that. Cat and mouse. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it was definitely the cat and the mouse. Oh, man, Shelby, what the heck? Wake up, man. Mm. No. Mm. <sighs> oh man, are you drunk? <sighs> or just really sleepy? What's what's on your mind, man? Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> oh, he's probably, you know what? Like, an investigation like this is probably just taking a toll on him, you know? Oh, I kind of actually feel bad for him. Oh, no. Let's turn that back on. I need some light in here. You know, we gotta wake this guy up a little bit. Alright. Oh, we can look in his drawers. <sighs> Are you supposed to take that when you're not having an asthma attack? I'm not, I'm not sure, but that, that was interesting. All right, what else you got in the drawer here, bud? Ah, yes! Some whiskey. Oh, I see that smile on his face. You know what? I'm not going to deny the man a drink. He deserves it. Actually, I, I kind of want some, to be honest, after that scene. Whew. What was that? There was only like a three-minute scene, but like I'm just so stressed out right now. All right, anything else? Oh, okay, we're just... Looking through Shelby's drawers, I guess. Oh, it's his badge. I don't think we've actually ever seen his badge before. Detective. Yeah, he's, he's a private detective, though. Okay, of course, you know. Every detective's a uh, little handy-dandy shooting tootin' device. Alright, good to know. I wonder if... I have to like memorize this so I know for later. So we have something in case there's an asthma attack, and then we have something in case there's a burglar attack. Alright, I'll remember that. Not nah, man, we're getting up this time. <laughs> oh, is that like a. Sorry, I think I saw like an old camera here. I guess can't really look at it. We just got the map, but... Yeah, I see, like, a little old camera there. It's pretty cool looking. Got some cool stuff in here. Ah, uh, yes, all my secret files. Are you allowed to keep, like, these kind of files in your home? I'm surprised that this isn't, like, kept, like, at, a, like, a confidential office or something. But then again, I don't really know much about this stuff, so... Ah, nice room. Maybe we can change our outfit, put on some jammies. Oh, is that me? Oh, so much skinnier then. Well, I guess that's what happens when you're not out chasing burglars and you're, you know, that's what Jade and them are doing. We're doing, you know, the behind the scenes stuff. Alright, is there like a reason that we're supposed to be exploring so in depthly? Maybe wash our face or something, wake up a little bit. Come on, man, I gave you a drink, wash your face, brand new man. Can't we, like, change clothes, though? I just feel like I always, when I'm at home, like, I'm always in comfy clothes. Oh, do you gotta pee? Okay. Yeah, but I'm, like, at home, like, I'm always in, like, comfy clothes. Oh, God, that's such a weird smile. Ugh, it just kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> but I don't know, I can't stay in, like, work school clothes. I don't know. Then I can't really, like, fully relax, you know? Alright. Oh, let's wash our hands again. Because, you know, <laughs> I think in a couple episodes I forgot to, um, wash my hands. Oh, there's someone at my door. Let's see who it is. We haven't met, like, any of Shelby's, like, friends, so... Maybe we'll get a little look into his personal life.
You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Lauren! Can I come in? Sure. I love he's got a plaque on his door that says Scott Shelby, private investigator. I don't know if you'd want to, like, advertise that to everyone. Let me take your coat. Uh, let's sit down. Please I don't want to get you drunk, too. That alcohol is for me. Okay. Let's have a nice little chit-chat. See if we can get some juicy details. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? You remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Where'd you pull that out of? That didn't fit in your pocket. What the heck? Oh, this was probably the one with the, um, the ticket to the locker. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Anything on the back? No sender. Oh, not particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Uh, we have an old typewriter. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Aww. Help you in your investigation. Oh, we don't... Oh, do we not want her to? There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. But we have a typewriter! If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Uh, it's dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. She's selling and herself. It was too bad. Not in Sorry the way that time, Mr. she normally does, Wait. but... I probably should have said that. <laughs> You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Cool. Okay, we got someone else in on the investigation, but... I'm not gonna lie, I'm still a little bit suspicious of, um, that old typewriter and the fact that he was getting a little bit like, no, I don't want you to help with this, but, I mean, he took her aboard, so I think it's all good now. Alright, where are we going? Oh, this place looks bougie! You better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. That's right, partner. I thought her coat was longer at first. <laughs> what the heck? I hear music. This sounds like a party. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? With Tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Alright, let me see if he's thinking anything else before we go in. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Oh, did we pay him off? Stupid to bring him. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. Stupid envelope? Buddy, you should... That's a that's a pretty good lead, I say. God, he's just acting so weird now. I don't like it. 
All right, party crashers. Oh my God, I can just smell the booze. Hello, miss. Do you need do you need some help up? <laughs> oh man, this is actually cool. <sighs> There's someone on the pool table. Hey guys, what's going on? Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Paid gorillas, huh? Booze, babes, and coke. <laughs> Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party. Booze, animal. babes, and coke. Sounds like a fun Friday night. I just can't get over this guy at the pool table. Oh my god, it's actually hilarious. Alright. Oh my god, this is wild! Hi, I'm Scott. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott! I'm looking for Gordy! Have you seen him? Wow, you loser. Actually, I'm probably the loser here. Hey. Good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scott. Oh, true. Yeah, let's not try and distract him. Where's Gordy at? Poor Lauren's just like. So out of place. That's literally me. <laughs> oh my god, that's so awkward. Hi. Great party, huh? <laughs> I don't even know where we're talking to these people. And great here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, Shelly. It's your new friend. Maybe he'll help us out later on. Okay, where's Gordy at? This looks like a room Gordy would be in. Nope, it's the bathroom. Damn, look at these spotlights. Whoa! That's a nice mirror. Stop thinking about the babe, Shelby. We got a got a case to crack. Is there anything else in here? Should we be looking for clues? Nah, I'm not here to play The Sims and just go pee and stuff. So, all right, hello. All right, man, can you just like take it somewhere else? All these people look the same. Oh, right, because I've been here. <laughs> Oops. Uh, where? Are we? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's definitely the paid gorillas. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Let's try this out. Hi, guys. Uh. Pass. Excuse me. Nobody allowed upstairs. Persistent. Let's buy him. Let's buy him. I hope this works. Look, here's Mr. Franklin. He says I should go up. Oh, that was so, so stupid. For sale. That didn't work. Okay, I'm never gonna try that again. If I wanna see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Crap! That's not what I wanted. Okay. You know what? Note to self, not gonna do this again. What the heck? Did y'all see that? That glitch? Do you want me to handle them? <laughs> oh. No. Thanks. I don't want her to do that. I'll find I like her. I don't want to. I don't want her to do that. I gotta protect my girl. Okay, how else are we gonna find a way in? No, I don't want to take her up on this. No. No, I meant it. Ah. Uh, I didn't actually want her to do it. Oh god, this is so cringy. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, I can't fucking-
fucking watch this. Oh, he was about to. Yo, this girl fucking did it! Oh my god. That was great! Oh my god, Lauren! You know what? I underestimated her. I can't believe- I was like, what is this girl doing? I'm just- You know what? Okay, I'm actually happy she did that now. God, I love Lauren. She's my girl. She should just take over this investigation. He's definitely in this room with the big double doors. You look like a Gordy. <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh! This is the best part! My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is high out of his mind watching cartoon chickens. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this whole scene's just been so whack. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! Oh, is that to me or the ladies? What do you want? Factual. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. Good. That was a very good response. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived. I explained the misunderstanding and I was released. I don't believe End him. Of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can't believe. Yeah, man. Come on, Gordy. Oh god, those bodyguards are gonna find me, aren't Very they? Well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Was that sarcastic? Oh my god, Get rid I knew of this it. Clown. Nope, you ain't getting rid of me! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. That was not the right way. Yep, right in the- yep. Ouch. Oh man, this episode's just been so intense! Oh shit, wrong button. Oh my god, this is so fun! I think that guy was being so sarcastic. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Holy crafts. What a dick. Hey, go back to watching your ratatouille. <laughs> he literally is, oh my god. <laughs> wow! 
I hate this guy. What the heck just happened? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this, whatever happened in this video, that was so weird, but <laughs> it was really fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed playing it, so I will see you guys in the next episode, and then we'll continue off right from here. Bye!